the subscribe button below and the bell button next to it so that you do not miss out any of my videos and stay updated with my channel and it is absolutely free hi friends welcome to beauty infinite so finally i'm here with the food post i know that you guys have been missing them and i really apologize for the delay so if you are a part of my insta family you guys know that i am following a healthy diet from the past one and a half month so i have been trying various new recipes uh, almost every alternate days and i thought i will share them with all of you because these recipes are really low in calorie yet they are tasty and easy to prepare at home so they can definitely make your boring wet loss food really really yummy and delicious today's recipe is going to be my version of tomato pasta with a scrambled egg I quickly get started so the first thing we are going to do is prepare the pasta that is uh, we have taken whole wheat pasta remember for wet loss you need to take wheat pasta because wheat pasta are low calorie free avoid taking may pasta made of suji or flour or avoid them instead take go for whole wheat pasta which is quite low in a uh, carb and it is also good and healthy so here i have taken 100 g of pasta and i'm just going to add this pasta in boiling water always add the pasta into boiling water otherwise pasta might melt so once the pasta starts boiling i'm going to add into it half a tablespoon or 1 teaspoon of vegetable oil the reason for the oil is that it's going to keep the pasta separated from one another so that this do not stick to one another and remain soft and a bit slippery but that's what i mean so in the meantime the pasta is boiling we will just take you through the ingredient yes the rest of the ingredient so the very first thing i've taken is one big whole onion and cut it into fine slices then since i am a person who loves spicy food so i have taken 2 to 3 green chilies and chopped them this is optional for you so if you do not like spicy food you can totally skip it now then i've taken 5 to 6 clove of big size garlic and chopped it into fine pieces i love the taste of garlic and garlic is a really good sauce to cut down your fat so that is why it's a really healthy ingredient now next i've taken two whole tomatoes and made a fine puree out of it now i do not like my dish to be too much sweet so therefore i've taken a small sachet of tomato ketchup because ketchup sometimes makes a dish too much sweet so i do not want to have my dish too much sweet i've taken a uh, the fun foods dr otkar pasta and pizza sauce and yes this sauce is super yummy and you can take any herb of your choice i have taken oregano the other thing i've taken is some refined oil you can also cook this in olive oil if you want i was out of olive oil so i am cooking it in refined oil which is also perfectly fine because this is a low cholesterol refined oil and now as you can see that the pasta is all cooked and i have strained it in a strainer and i've kept it aside and look how beautiful it looks let's take a few moment to appreciate the beauty of this pasta yes it looks so pretty so now i'm going to take a fresh pan and first thing i'm going to do is reduce the flame because we are going to cook the whole dish in low flame remember that all time taken one first i've taken 2 teaspoon of oil and that is what we are going to use to cook the whole dish as it is a healthy dish we're not going to take a lot of oil into this i've added the chopped garlic and i'm just going to saute it for some time after that i'm going to add into this the sliced onion and also the sliced uh, uh green chilies and then i'm going to saute it for few more minutes until the raw smell of onion goes away they are a bit tender and soft brown of course and yeah we're going to take a bit of time to do this like one or two minute just do it uh, in at a low flame throughout now once the onion is all soft and nicely saute we are going to go ahead and add into this the tomato puree yes and after that i'm just going to mix it well with the onion and i'm just going to go ahead and cook this puree for few minutes so that the rawness of the tomatoes just 
goes away and it is nicely cooked just adding like one or two tablespoon of water really really less because obviously i do not want it to be soupy i just want enough amount of water so that the sauce could be cooked well and the masala do not get dry and get stuck to the pan that's all so yes i am just taking a bit of time and letting it cook uh, for a few minutes and you can see it's bubbling up and slowly cooking now once the tomato is all cooked we are going to add the rest of the ingredient of the dish the first thing we are going to add is the uh, Uh, sachet of tomato ketchup can one tablespoon of that pasta and pizza sauce and i've just added it into that sauce along with the ketchup and finally i'm going to add in this oregano and i'm just going to sprinkle a good amount of oregano around like one teaspoon of oregano into this as per your taste and yeah then finally i'm going to mix all of this together and let it cook for few more minutes until the sauce is all well prepared then i'm going to go ahead and add a bit of salt to taste uh, do not add a lot because remember the pasta and pizza sauce already have a bit of saltiness into it so be a bit careful so add a bit of salt as per your taste and and then mix it all well together and yeah soon and keep it for 2 to 3 well cooked now so finally i'm going to go ahead and add into this the pasta yes and generally people uh, can uh, mix the pasta separately with the sauce in a mixing bowl but what I'm I generally prefer that I just uh, switch off the stove. I just switch off the flame completely, and into the hot pan itself, I add the pasta and mix it with the sauce because I feel that the heat in the pan sort of binds the sauce with the pasta well and give it a really fresh. taste and this is sort of my version the way i prefer it i like to cook every cook every person who cooks have their own strategies have their own way of making a dish so this is like my way of uh, preparing it i feel just it just give it a bit more binding prepare the scrambled egg if you want you can totally if you are a vegetarian you can totally skip the egg so all i do that i uh, just break one egg in the pan and i make the scramble without any sort of oil then using a fork i sort of just uh, you know blend the egg and create a circle out of it which almost looks like a sun yeah it looks so pretty i'm so unhappy that i just need to break it in a second I go all breaking that beautiful circle anyways it's going to taste yummy though so yeah i'm just going to break it and scramble the whole egg and yes after uh, i'm just going to toss it here and there over and the scramble is all done and let's go ahead and serve it so this is how exactly i serve myself so i usually measure the food i eat so i take that small bowl for measurement that is actually measured around like one katori which is like 1 100 g So I have taken like one and a half katori of this pasta, which is like one fifty gram of pasta, which I'm gonna eat. Which is I'm just gonna sprinkle the scrambled egg, and you're gonna see that in a bit. The scrambled egg, and it looks so so yummy. I'm almost drooling right now when I'm just preparing the voiceover. Next thing which I take is one of my most favorite sauce. If you want, you can skip that, of course, because yes, it is a spicy sauce. So I just take one and a half teaspoon of Tabasco sauce because I really love Tabasco sauce and it just makes my dish super yummy. How the whole dish look like? As you can see, it's a really really easy dish. It do not take a lot of time, a lot of things to prepare. So if you test it out and if you do prepare it at your home, make sure to let me know. And yes, if you like the recipe. be please give it a big thumbs up please do subscribe to my channel because that will really mean a lot to me and i will see you guys soon with another such dish and another such video until then take care bye